This is Dickinson, nice layoff to Matt Richards. Sight of goal, and a goal for Walsall. Matt Richards with it. The goalkeeper, Scott Davis, just got fingertips, I think, for the shot. But it was really well struck by Richards. The former Ipswich town man puts the league side in front. Miles, now Pond, turning into a bit of space. Good hit. And a decent save from Jimmy Walker. But Nathan Pond just bought himself two or three metres of room here. And it's all he needed to unleash a really good left foot shot. This is Craney. Oh, he's done well. And the referee is given a penalty against Richard Taundry. Well, time seemed to just be suspended there for a second or two as Craney went down under the challenge of the Walsall captain, Richard Taundry. Big Steve McNulty, who will step forward to take the kick against the veteran Jimmy Walker. Walsall fans behind that goal doing their best to put off McNulty. He looks confident, but ultimately wasn't off the top of the crossbar. And Walsall maintain their lead to the delight of their travelling fans. He heads away. This is Westlake. Loses out to Craney. Who then was challenged high, it would appear, by McGibbon. And it's a red card for Ryan McGibbon. The referee could not have had a better view of the incident. The Northern Ireland international, Ryan McGibbon, has been sent off. How high was he? Two footed. Mullen. Shot maybe on here for the substitute. Oh, and he scored! Jamie Mullen! Unbridled joy throughout most inside Highbury. The non leaguers are on terms. Good ball, it's an excellent pass. Taken on here by Seddon. Sets up the shot, and it's stepped towards goal. Brilliant save by Walker. Mullen denied at the second time of asking. And I think that's where the flag comes for offside against Mullen. That goal stands if Walker doesn't make a save from Lee Thorpe. Mullen was standing in an offside position, but not active. And that is a top, top save from Jimmy Walker.